was literally, sorry, yeah. it was literally so funny getting ready. I had to do my clothes wash and everything this morning. So I was rushing about, I'm on the train now. My first train got cancelled. I won't talk about it, I'm still going to get home. I'm actually going to get home earlier than I was on my other train. Um, this is the faster train, but I get home in half an hour. So yeah, I just got the camera, vlog my weekend, show you guys what I get up to because I haven't been home in four weeks now and um, I haven't seen my dad in four weeks. Um, my sister, my nana and mum came up about two weeks ago. Um, so I've seen them but still like two weeks, that's a long time. Um, but yeah, I'm going home to Chester today. Um, the train is so hot right now though. And I'm not going to lie, people are staring at me like what are you doing? But doing it for you guys. Today is just so hot and that makes me so excited to go back to Chester because Chester is so nice in the sun. Um, but I'm going to try and fit everyone in today, see everyone. I'm here tonight and then I'll come back tomorrow at midday. Um, but yeah, my voice is going because my hay fever is playing up so bad. That's the only thing I don't like about this time of year. My hay fever <coughs> is so bad, so if I sound a bit weird, that is why. Um, but yeah, we're going to go out for a meal and stuff tonight. I'm going to see my niece and nephew are with my mum, dad and my sister today. So I'm going to obviously see them. And then when we take them back home, I'll go and see my other sister. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to go and see my nan. And then tomorrow I'm going for breakfast. <laughs> my sister, my auntie, and my uncle's girlfriend, just so like my two aunties. Um, but yeah, I'm excited because I miss everyone so much. Uh, my voice is going again. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And um, yes, people are looking at me, so I'm gonna stop vlogging now. But if you guys are enjoying these like more casual vlog style, like taking you along my weekends, let me know because I love filming them. And yeah, it's just a bit of a change, you know. I want to be more personal. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try and vlog everyone's reactions. I've seen a lot. Not that I'm smelling or anything, but you know what I mean. I haven't seen them in so long, so yeah. Hope you enjoy. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I hope I didn't get the red gem. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay, guys, so as you would have seen, I'm now home. Um, I'm just going to show you because my, oh, my sister and my mum. Okay, I'm really clumsy today. <gasps> Look at my chest. But um, yeah, I've just been sitting outside. My nan has come round to see me. My dad went and picked her up and brought her around here. But I'm just going to show you in a sec my room. But yeah, first of all, my mum and sister, and obviously my dad, but got me these flowers. Um, but yeah, they also got, I'm going to take you downstairs in a minute and show you the brown, not the brownies, the donuts that my sister has got for us tonight. This is just such a fat Saturday and I love it. But yeah, my sister at the moment is studying for midwifery. Proud of you. But ignore the mess on my bed, but I basically packed some um, summer clothes to take back to Manchester with me. Ignore all my stuff on my bed, but obviously my room looks the same pretty much, but look how cute this is. My sister's using my desk now as like her study space because she's actually studying from home. And then midwife study room, which cute. She gonna be a midwife. At least one of us has got our lives together. Um, <laughs> but look, my niece and nephew are outside now. Playing, oh, playing under there. That's like a den that they've got going on. And then my dad and, oh, Olivia's there. And then Lola's there. And then my nan and mum are down there. If you're also wondering what that was, Olivia's set up a tea party. But you know what? It's so good to be home and I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited to go out for tea. But I'm going to take this camera down now show you the donuts and maybe vlog a little bit outside but I don't want to like shove the camera in people's faces but I also don't want it to be very like oh we've just done this do you know what I mean but I'm outside I've got no makeup on I've got mascara and gel in my eyebrows but that's it but yeah I'm gonna take you outside with me and we're just gonna see where the day goes um I'm really excited to be home I feel like I've never been away but at the same time I do miss Manchester like I don't miss Manchester because I'm here but I'm glad I'm going back. Like, I don't miss Chester, I just miss my family. 
anyways, I'm gonna shut off. I'm gonna take these flowers down and put them in a vase and treat the So these are the brownies I was talking about. They literally look, I just said brownies again. These are the donuts I was talking about. Literally insane. I'll be having a lotus one. I don't know who's having that one, but yum. Say hi, say hi, you two. Hi, you two. I couldn't even do that for Hello. I think he's going to be an artist, aren't you, Lord? You've decided. You could do tattoos. Okay, we're taking Lawson and Olivia home now. Here's Lawson. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Hi. Lawson actually has his own YouTube. Let me just zoom into him. Hello. I was going to say hello, YouTube. I mean, hello, Lawson. Liv, do you want to say hi? To YouTube. Olivia's hurt her tail, so. We're on the way home. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm not on the way home. We're on the way to take Lawson and Olivia home. And then we're going for tea. So Hi guys. So I didn't really vlog last night because I forgot my camera when we went out for food. Well, we went to a Chinese restaurant, like I was saying. We're now walking into town. I'm with Lola. Um, <laughs> we're walking into town to go and get a... A sable. So yeah, we're going for breakfast with, I think I said this in the vlog actually, with my auntie, my uncle's girlfriend, so like both aunties, <laughs> and my little cousin is now coming, so it's going to be fun, but yeah, I've, well, I was going to say I've not been into town, where we went yesterday was town, but not properly been into town yet since I've been back, I'm but quiet. <laughs> yeah, it probably will be quiet. We walked through town yesterday, um, ooh, this light doesn't look great. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what this vlog is looking like. I don't even know if I'm going to upload it. If I do, hi. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit of the day. You can't even see. But literally just a baggy t-shirt and the same jeans that I always wear. And red Jordans. And this is Lola's outfit of the day. Ooh, I don't even Very stylish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll film when we get our assignment. We're now in Bean and Calm. We're we'll just waiting for... Robin, Georgia and Lacey, sorry the lighting's a bit bad, we're gonna actually leave tables because it's like a sun trap here and there's a bigger table, oh they've gone so we're gonna move to that table in a second. Um, yeah, the weather's actually gone pretty grim today, but I don't know, it's gone like pretty grim, it's warm though, but we outside. <laughs> So as you can probably tell, I'm back in Manchester, I'm back in my apartment now. I didn't actually end up vlogging much of my like day and night in Chester because basically I ended up spending just like time at home, like focusing on spending time with family and all that good stuff. I think the last film thing I filmed was us, sorry. Also you can probably tell my voice is going like really weird, like it keeps going and then it will come back and then all of a sudden like it makes me out of breath, like it's like my my nasal. What? It's like my sinuses are like all blocked, but I don't feel ill. I don't know. Anyways, stop getting going off track. Yeah, so I think the last thing that I filmed was when we were out for breakfast. So we went out for breakfast with me, my sister, my auntie, my uncle's girlfriend, and my little cousin. So we went out for breakfast. I think I filmed a clip of that. I think that was the last clip. And then my mum, dad and Lola all drove me up to Manchester again and they came to Manchester for a bit. That was yesterday, so that was it. I think I got home at about 5 o'clock. Then I went to the gym and then I came back here and just chilled all night, sorted my stuff out for work. And this leads me to today. So it's now Monday. Um, I've been to work today, I've got back. It's now quarter past 5 and um, I've got an early finish in work, which we love. And I put on my Instagram because I thought, you know, haven't really had a catch up since I've been here, like properly on my own and sat down and had a catch up. I probably will do a full one of these videos soon, but I just wanted to ask over on Instagram if anyone has any assumptions or questions about me, which I just thought I'd add into this vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer those. So let me just have a look. I did actually see a few, but I didn't look at them properly. So, okay, so I thought there would be a few based on Manchester. So. The first one is, Manchester has changed you, like with a question mark. Um, I would say yes and no. The reason I say yes is because like moving out in general has just made me more of like aware of things and made me like, I suppose it made me grow up a bit quicker. Like 
because I have to do everything with myself now. Obviously, I live alone, um, more independent, 100%. Like, don't get me wrong, when I lived at home, I was actually very independent anyway. But since living alone, like, I have to be independent. Like, no one does anything for me. I do everything for myself, which obviously, I live alone. I moved away from home, so, like, obviously, I knew that was going to happen. And I actually love that. Like, I love that so much. But I think when I say, like, changed me, it's made me so motivated to just, like do what i want to do i'm not going to put anything out there but like there's so many things that i just want to do with my life right now um i i put them out there at night i talk to myself it sounds so weird and i manifest these things but i'm not going to put them out there like on the internet do you know what i mean but yes i think manchester has changed me in the sense of me like becoming more independent and all that good stuff but I don't think it's changed me as a person. Like, I'm still the same person that moved here four weeks ago, do you know what I mean? But I don't know, like, I just feel, like, much more positive. Honestly, I think I've had. When I was waiting to start my new job and I just felt like, oh, God, I'm a bit bored. Like, there's no one else here, do you know what I mean? But apart from that, I've been positive and happy, like, every single day. Because I just love living here. Like, right now, like, looking at the view outside, it just makes me so happy. But... I hope that answers that question. You make friends easily. Um, I'd like to say I do because when I moved to Manchester, I knew no one here um, at all. And I've actually made quite a lot of friends since I've moved here. And good people as well. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. I've met some really, really good people like that mean a lot to me. Like just people that have just treated me really nice, really well. Like I've moved here like completely random to be honest not knowing like anyone and yeah i think i made friends pretty well pretty easily but at the same time i don't make friends with just anyone like i wouldn't meet someone and say they're my friend i get a vibe of people and there has been situations in the past where i've met someone and i've been a bit like mm, i don't think we're on the same like i don't think we have the same kind of like mindset and we're on the same vibe so we I'll get along with them and I'll be civil with them but I wouldn't call them my friend because I think we're just different people. So yeah, saying that, I'd say I do make friends with people easily but at the same time I don't make friends with just anyone. Do with that what you will. <laughs> you want to live somewhere else after Manchester. Yes, that is true because at some point I do want to move to different countries. So I want to move to Spain at one point, I want to move to America at one point. I want to just do a few places before I settle down and buy a home, which in general my mindset has just completely changed from last year. Like this time last year, I'd have been saying like, no, I'm not like renting places, blah, blah, blah. I just want to go straight into buying. But now my mindset has completely changed and I just want to see as many places as possible before I settle down in one place. So yeah, I do want to live in other places after Manchester, but I do think I'll be here for a year. So I've signed a six month lease, as you guys probably know, but then I think I'm going to extend for another six months and then after that, I'll go elsewhere. So, but who knows, who knows, I might end up loving it here, I might end up buying here, who knows. I'm just going to answer like all the Manchester ones first. So, you prefer Manchester to your hometown? You know what? I do. I do. But only because, I'm not going to lie, I think my hometown is prettier. When I'm older, and like like older and older, 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 with kids, I feel like I'd like to live in Chester. But, but in my 20s, I have no intentions of like living in Chester. Like in my young 20s, I have no intentions of living back in Chester. Obviously, I miss my family, I miss my, like, I was going to say my friends. Don't really have any real friends at home, really. But yeah, I miss my family and stuff like that. But I mean, they're not too far away and I can go home whenever I want. They can come for me whenever they want. And you know, there's always FaceTime, there's always text. I feel like text and call my mum and dad like every day. And I speak to my sister non-stop. We're literally on a non-stop conversation all day, every day. So yeah, I do prefer Manchester in the way of I prefer to live in Manchester than Chester. But as a place, as a whole, I think Chester, is a nicer place to live long term if that makes sense but manchester for me right now this is where i prefer to live um okay i'm trying to like not blab on on these questions because i feel like i don't want to like drag it on too long do you know what i mean you're a hard worker i'd like to say i am um because like i'm very like 
I'm obviously working right now. I've got a new job here in Manchester, which I did touch on on my stories on Instagram. But I've moved to a completely different job. Well, I've only just noticed that you can see the tram from here. Like, not the tram stop, because there's a tram stop outside my building, but there's a tram customer. Sorry, I see, I keep getting sidetracked because I'm looking out at the view. But anyways, yeah, I'd like to say I am a hard worker because right now, like I said, I've started a new job, um, which I'm loving, by the way. Like, I, love, I never thought I'd say I love my, like, job, but I do. I love my job. Um, the people I work with are so lovely, so nice. Um, but yeah, and also, like... The reason I say I'm hard worker is because I'm not gonna lie, anyone that does YouTube that like isn't, YouTube isn't their like job, YouTube takes a lot of time, like it takes a lot of time out of your day, like it's not just the filming, like it's the editing, the uploading, like blah blah blah, anyone that does that, like hats off to you, um, because like it, it's a lot, do you know what I mean, it is a lot, so yeah, even filming the videos though, I'm like, for example, when I do hauls, like, I've got to, find, like, buy the stuff. I've got to, like, as in, if I'm doing online shopping, for example, I've got to find the stuff. I've got to order the stuff. I've got to wait for it to come. I've got to then try it on. Like, do you know what I mean? All that stuff, like, it does take a while. It can be a good couple of hours, which most of the time I do that after work. So I've just finished my shift and then I'll film a video. So to me, that is quite hard working. Also, now with me like living here living alone obviously I do all my cooking my cleaning which to be fair I did all my cooking and stuff at home but I like there's no other option here like for example at home mom would offer me tea but I just prefer to make my own stuff um whereas here obviously I have to do my cooking my cleaning my sorting out my dinners for work all my washing up like my clothes wash do you know what I mean all of that I have to do that myself which obviously is also time consuming and yeah I'm I'm proud of myself <laughs> I think I'm a hard worker so yes I'm gonna praise myself I think I'm a hard worker <laughs> you're chilled out I think by that you mean like I'm a chill person I'm quite laid back and I'd say yes I am a very chilled out person I am I just kind of let things go in my head like sometimes like for example there's been situations where like I've told my mum and dad about them and like my sister and I've said certain things and they're just like you're so chilled like how do you let that like just go over your head but like for example I'm very very chilled I won't give you a reaction if you are trying to do something that you expect a reaction from me you won't get one because I don't have the energy for that like I'm not going to give you that energy because quite frankly I don't have it to give like I'm not going to give you energy because then that just makes me negative and I'm not going to do it so the way I deal with situations that could like stress me out stop me from being chilled is you just get cut off I'm sorry but I just cut you off I'll just ignore you you will not get any messages from me you won't get any effort from me and honestly like when I'm done I'm done like I'm 100% one of those people I'm all or nothing so if you're in my life you mean a lot to me <laughs> that was so personal to my camera basically you're in my life or you're not do you know what I mean like I don't do half-hearted shit like I don't have people like in and out of my life like doesn't happen I just don't like that for me where I live is like like I create the energy here and if I start bringing people here that have negative energy and are just negative people I'm living in negative energy and like I don't want that because he wants to be living in negative energy not me so I I think that's why I'm chilled because like for example if you're not a chilled person and you want to feel chilled this is what you gotta do um at night just don't have your any lights on depending where you live <laughs> I say don't have any lights on but that's because I've got like big windows and a lot of light comes in but even at night like when it's dark I'll just have like my fairy lights on and my candles and it makes me feel so chilled so like wind down for the evening like I love that but yeah I think to be honest I'm just naturally a chill person I always kind of have been like that apart from I obviously am a bit of a stress head sometimes but chilled as in letting people affect my mood and my energy i'm very chilled like that no one is going to affect my my mood <laughs> that's just as simple as it is to be honest unless it comes to for example someone coming for my sister or my close friends like then we got problems you have a boyfriend <laughs> i'm gonna answer this quickly and simply no i don't i'm single <laughs> i'm focusing on me you want YouTube and social media to be your full-time job? Yeah, 
I would want that. Yes, I would definitely want that. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to just leave it at that. Do you know what I mean? I don't just want to... I wouldn't want to leave it there. But I feel like I, that would bring so many good opportunities to me. Um, there's so many things I want to do. Which, again, like I said, I'm not going to mention on the internet. But there are so many things I want to do. Um, I'm in the mindset right now where it's like, I know I'm going to get there because... I want it so bad and I'm working towards it, but it's just, what's the word? It's just waiting for that time. Do you know what I mean? It's just keep working hard, like just keep going. I've been doing this now since like the first lockdown and obviously I, I've only just hit a thousand subscribers, but I was so proud of myself for that. Do you know what I love? I love it when the video comes together. Like obviously I film it in clip and then when it comes together and watch it as a whole video, I just love it. Like my favourite kind of videos right now are for example when I was doing like the get ready with me with Sophie. Um because like say in like a year or two time and I watch that back and I'm like, oh my god, like that was when I just moved to Manchester. Like that was when I just met Sophie. Like do you know what I mean? Like I just feel like it's memories. Basically that's why I've like took a step back from hauls a little bit, just because I kind of went off filming them and i'm not gonna film something that I, I can't be bothered filming do you know what i mean like i feel like that comes through and that does not i want to film videos that make me feel good as much as i want you guys to enjoy them like i want to film videos because they make me feel good and if i'm filming hauls and i'm not enjoying them then what's the point because i just feel like you can you can tell that energy do you know what i mean you can i just need to knock my cup off the side um, you can feel the energy of me not being bothered to film it and there's just no point, quite simply. But yeah, that's pretty much all the questions. But I only put it up like a couple of hours ago, so maybe I could film like a part two, like a full video on this. Um, I am still going to obviously put the clips from the weekend before this because it shows you a bit of my weekend. But obviously... This is just to end the video off, a little Q&A. Thanks guys so much for watching, as always. Thank you for all the love and support. I appreciate it so much. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye guys.